Um, the party leadership, Anna's leadership of President Tangai has met today for about four hours. I think we all appreciate the exigencies of our political moment. We have deliberated on that and uh, to take us through on what the party has decided regarding the going zone in the country is the president who's going to read us uh, the statement. But I will ask uh, the party spokesperson to go to the Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming at a very late uh, notice. Uh, without uh, wasting any of your time, I know you've been very anxious uh, for this moment. We are happy President Changra is here, as you can see, ready to go. So I will not take any more of your time. Over to you, President. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, the country has been going through extraordinary circumstances um, and we met today as the leadership of the MDC to reflect on what's taking place and what is our decision. Um, you are aware that uh, President Mugabe has been in charge for the last four decades, nearly so. And has uh, decided over a violent, rigged election. Unfortunately, uh, regional bodies have uh, tolerated this um, for far too long. We note, of course, that the end game, <coughs> the destination point to the resolution of this crisis. Zimbabwe is a total return <coughs> to legitimacy and a fully civil, civilian rule through a credible free and fair election under the, an independent and national supervised body. We also acknowledge that the national solution to the national problems are best sculptured by the people of Zimbabwe with the solidarity of the international community. Further, we acknowledge and salute the role played by our liberation fighters, our all veterans, and everyone who contributed and paid the price for the liberation of our country. We also appreciate the fact that the military is assured the commitment to peace, sanctity of human life, including respect for citizens' fundamental rights. We are conscious of the fact that for the last five or so years, our people have endured <coughs> a lot of suffering, unprecedented level. We are also aware of the concerns of the international community, SADAC, the AU, UN, and EU regarding deteriorating situation in Zimbabwe. We have therefore resolved and agreed on an urgent need for a roadmap to return the legit to legitimacy that includes the following critical signposts. One, that in the interest of the people of Zimbabwe, Mr. Robert Mugabe must resign, step down immediately in line with the national sentiment and expectation, taking full regard of his legacy and the contribution to Zimbabwe pre and the post is about that they be a negotiated, all-inclusive transitional mechanism. I'm emphasizing transitional mechanism. And that the purpose and essence and nature and character of that mechanism be agreed upon by all national stakeholders. That they be comprehensive reforms for a free and a fair and a credible election to be held upon the full implementation of those reforms. 
and that they be an agreed post-election framework to guarantee stability, peace, and national prosperity. That SADC, the African Union, and all the international bodies be underwriters and guarantors to the red map, to the road map, to a free and a fair election. In full recognition of the deal, of the ideals of our liberation war, angered upon respect for rights, dignity, and one man, one vote, we respect the right of every citizen to vote freely and fairly in electing a leadership of their choice. For this reason, the party ages all Zimbabwe above the age of 18 to register to vote and participate in the crucial ongoing voter registration exercise. This is the only way, the only assurance that we can define the future democratic dispensation. For our neighbors, you all know what is happening, and I'm sure you will give solidarity to the people of Zimbabwe at this hour of need. I thank you. Thank you very much, President Shangrai, for the statement. Ladies and gentlemen, President Shangrai is going to take a few questions, not more than four questions. So, let me have the questions. Uh, okay, I'll be biased in favor of ladies. Yes. Hi, uh, Gabriel Steinhauser from the Wall Street Journal. In how far is the military keeping you abreast of the situation, and can you confirm that President Mugabe has been moved out of his blue roof mansion, is now at State House negotiating his potential information? Well, I'm just as ignorant as you are. Uh, I'm not aware of the status. All I was, all I'm conscious of is that uh, he's safe uh, in whatever circumstances, and I hope he's kept safe. Uh, if there are any negotiations, that is between him and, uh, and the military. I'm not conscious of any development. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, we, we are made to believe that uh, there have been overtures to include the union transition of the mechanism. We've been approached um, uh, for, for, for such an arrangement. If so approached, uh, are you willing to take part in such a transition mechanism? Well, first and foremost, I have stated that uh, the solution to the national crisis needs all stakeholders, uh, which means that if we are approached, to negotiate such a process. We will participate in that process, but for now, I think uh, it's still speculation um, in the social media. Or I've, I've also read those kind of comments. But at the moment, uh, nothing has been initiated yet, and I hope that it will come a time when all national stakeholders will be involved in making sure that we take this country forward. Uh, and we resolve the economic and social conditions we face. Thank you very much, President. I think your hand was faster. Uh, uh, so you have shared power with the PF in the past, and it didn't end well. Um, is there still a trust deficit between you and the people now trying to assume power in this country, or do you trust them to do the right thing for the world? Trust, like you say, it's a deficit. There is a trust deficit. And uh, one of the critical elements uh, in our relationship with Zanupia has always been they have to end our trust. And it takes time to end that trust. Uh, we know the shortcomings that occurred during the GNU, and I'm sure that they are also aware of their, the method in which they used during that GNU. However, that is, that is past. Uh, and we need to, to take into cognizance the fact that uh, uh, we have a national crisis. And as leadership, we need to confront it in order to resolve that national crisis, in spite of what has happened. Thank you very much, President. Your hand was also up. 
um, Marijke van Haag for AFP. So if you're looking at the, the media coverage and some comments coming from the rest of the world and the rest of the AU, they're talking about a coup even though we're hearing the military saying that this is not what's happening. What is your what stance on this and what is your reassurance to the rest of the world and the continent? Well, what is a coup? What is a military takeover? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, any unconstitutional means. Um, donates a situation in which uh, anyone can conclude. I know that the military have said it's not a coup. Uh, and uh, we, we, we believe them. Uh, we, hope, we hope they will be able to extricate themselves out of that uh, definition. But uh, in the end, uh, they have to realize that uh, the international community is, is observing. And, and that they have to do what is best to make sure that uh, the international community believes them. And uh, whether they say it's a coup or whatever, that's immaterial. The conditions define themselves. Thank you very much, President. Uh, I would love to seek your indulgence. I can see the interest is burning. Okay. Sorry, President Chandrai. Is President Zuma or any other leaders reached out to you to communicate to you regarding the situation in Zimbabwe? What is that, sorry? Yes, as President Zuma, as Chairperson of SADC, or any other regional leaders, reached out to you regarding the situation in Zimbabwe. Oh, not yet. Oh, by the way, I just want to go back to the uh, question. You know, in 2013, the dispute around the elections was that Mugabe was illegitimate. <laughs> we have maintained that position. So, whatever, whatever solution you want to bring, uh, Illegitimate or other one still comes to the same. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hi, very good. Mean to be Zimbabwean. To be Zimbabwean is to carry the mark of leadership. And leadership begins when you embrace your purpose and take responsibility. These times we're living in are evidence that each one of us was born in this generation for a great purpose. A purpose to shape Zimbabwe's future, a responsibility to carry the promise and live in the Zimbabwe we want. Zimbabwe is waiting for a generation of people who understand the meaning of standing up. You are the stepping stone, the one with the flame of inspiration, the one with the passion, the one who has what it takes to move Zimbabwe forward. It's time to stand up and do what is right. It's time to rise and do your part. It's beyond a privilege. It's an inheritance, a pledge that everyone has to make. So rise Zimbabwe, Simuka Zimbabwe, Pakama Zimbabwe. It's time to pledge, register and go vote. Well, I'm not in the position of deciding that. You better ask that question in the military. Um, and they are the ones who are, are in, in, in control. They should be able to decide uh, what is the best way to resolve the issue. But um, like a Democrat, I always believe in the, in the rule of law. And, and, and that uh, there should be due process, if any. <coughs> Thank you very much. Last question. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Chagwai, as somebody who's tried to talk with Robert Mugabe for years and years and years at the ballot box, does it give you any personal pleasure to see him now? <laughs> 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 what, what a question. <laughs> Circumstances dictate behavior. In this case, uh, it doesn't give me pleasure at all because I never, I never in the formation of the MDC we never uh, embarked on an undemocratic process. And it, it, to me, it was never personal. That's why we had to go into GNU together, and we spent five years together. It has never been a personal issue. I disagreed with him in the manner in which he was conducting elections. I disagreed with him in the manner in which he was conducting government business. And to me, it remained a principal disagreement. Uh, if I were to meet him today, I would tell you that there may not even be that so-called political animosity, <laughs> but it still remains a disputed area. And for me, I had wished that uh, 
Mugabe would use his time, uh, would use his time to end his legacy uh, in a positive way. Uh, so if he called you today and said, look, why don't we share power again? Let's do it together. What would you well, I will ask him under what circumstances. The situation has changed. This is an extraordinary situation. I don't know in what capacity you are trying to approach me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. Productions. Specialists in social media streaming and in-house TV productions. This live cast has been powered by Zim DITV News, a division of Sly Media Productions. Specialists in social media streaming and in-house TV productions. This live cast has been powered by Zim DITV News, a division of Sly Media Productions. Specialists in social media streaming and in-house TV productions.